Dr. Sharma, we came from UK, where stem cell treatment is not available. Uh, can you tell us how the stem cell therapy works in children with autism? Right, I see stem cell therapy is part of a new field in medicine called regenerative medicine. What is regenerative medicine? See, up to now, when there were diseases, we had only two ways of treating them. Either we used drugs or medicines, or we did surgery. We operated something, removed the tumor. But now, there is a new treatment form available where we use cells. We use healthy cells to replace damaged cells. This is the field of regenerative medicine. Now, the cells that we use in stem cell therapy are specialized cells. They are called stem cells because they have the ability, like the stem of a tree. You know, from the stem of a tree, you can have branches and leaves and fruits. Mm -hmm. Likewise, we have cells in our body from which all other cells can be formed. That's why they are called stem cells. Mm -hmm. So stem cells have a unique property of being able to convert into any stem cells type of the body. That's what they are, that's the special quality. They also can multiply and divide and they produce some positive chemicals. Now in autism, <coughs> what we found is that in the deep central part of the brain, there are parts of the brain that are not functioning completely. Uh, they are hyperfunctioning, meaning less than normal. And, and when, when we give stem cells, we have found that these areas, their functioning improves. And once their functioning improves, these children have fantastic improvements. The improvements that you see are improvements in their hyperactivity, for example. In almost all the children, the hyperactivity completely goes down. Mm -hmm. All their repetitive automatic movements, mm -hmm. they almost completely disappear. <clears throat> There's an improvement in their balance, in their ability to walk, in their ability to sit in the ability to use their hands and to do simple activities of daily living. Their eye contact, which was almost absent before, you know, comes back. Their social behavior improves. Their higher function or cognition improves. Uh, they, their speech and communication improves quite dramatically. And why does this happen? Because the cells that we give, they go to the damaged parts of the brain, they start a process of repair and regeneration, and then that damaged part, once it improves, all the symptoms also improve.